Okay, swap or swap wait swap space. Okay, uh, it is also called page file like that in Windows. Okay, so before going to define this swap space, how that um, how the memory was in uh, organized in a computer, computer uh, memory is organized in a OS by OS. How OS uh, tackles memory, how it manages memory in uh, a system. Okay, uh, there are two types of memory in a system. That is handled by OS. OS is nothing but whether it is Windows or Linux. Okay. The first one is you know this one. It is RAM, random access memory. You know the purpose of this random access memory is it is used to store data and programs while they are being actively used by the computer. That means uh, uh, generally uh, the data was stored in the hard drive of hard disk of uh, your computer. If the computer computer means if the CPU wants to access the data hard drive uh, it uh, the, the data was uh, because hard hard drive is very slow to access the hard drive is very slow cpu access it slowly uh, because hard drive is very slow okay so to access the data first it the data was loaded into ram what are the active active data we need active programs we need we want to work with that 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 entire data and programs are loaded into ram so that the cpu can access it quickly because ram is faster compared to your hard drive so in general ram ram is called uh, memory and hard drive, hard disk or hard drive is called storage both are different more memory and storage are different so hard disk is slower compared to the ram so cpu can access it fastly and can do it uh, quickly okay so, uh, so that means the active active data and active programs that is active pages are loaded into ram while, uh, while the CPU is processing some data okay so this RAM is you know it is volatile that means that the data stored in the RAM is lost if power is gone that means if the uh, computer is turned off the power uh, the RAM that was loaded in RAM was lost will last so th that is nothing but volatile whereas hard drives in the hard drives is are nothing but some mag type of magnetic media or some solid state devices are there those are non-volatile type of disks uh, the data they, they store the data permanently permanently uh, with uh, even though power is gone on the computer okay so you know the difference already the second type of memory in linux system or windows is swap space okay swap space is in Linux is used when the amount of physical RAM is full suppose uh, if you are working with something uh, uh, suppose uh, you are using you are browsing the internet we are using Google Chrome uh, suppose you are uh, continuously opening your different types of tabs a lot of tabs and on the other side you are uh, working with some spreadsheets all those are uh, you are working with the same time on the other side some video is running uh, some something is running so the the uh, the physical memory that is nothing but ram is full if if it is full next what will happen is you cannot open the next uh, application and uh, your system may stuck and sometimes uh, it may it may stuck okay the system may crash okay in that case in that case there is another second mem second part of the memory is there that is nothing but swap of course ram is uh, memory okay ram 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 is also memory another type of memory in real time computers is swap space okay when this ram is full okay if the system needs more memory resources and the ram is full the inactive pages in memory are moved to the swap space suppose we are uh, uh, working with uh, some some data or something programs okay so the active active pages are there inactive pages are there so active pages are will be with the ram and the inactive pages will be moved to swap swap space so that uh, some part of the ram will be uh, empty so that we can utilize the ram uh, fully and we can avoid the uh, that uh, system crash or whatever it may be okay so that is the advantage of using swap while swap, swap space can help machines with a small amount of ram it should not be considered as a replacement for more ram 
because uh, is this swap is created on again hard disk because ram is uh, a primary memory okay so we know ram okay but this swap is not like ram of course it, it was utilized in support to ram but this swap space is created in hard disk you know hard disk is slower compared to uh, your primary memory ram okay so if you use uh, this uh, uh, if you if you are if your system is having small amount of memory then swap space plays an important role okay but it is not exactly a replacement for ram but it it supports ram okay because if if, if uh, in some cases if the ram is full okay the inactive pages that means the pages which we are not using pages are nothing but memory uh, blocks in that memory okay if if uh, if, if the are not uh, uh, used inactive those are moved to app space and the some part of the ram will be free so that we can use effectively when these inactive pages become active or the, some of the active pages become inactive again they, those are moved to space uh, swap space and uh, those you want to use that uh, these inactive if you want to use these inactive pages again those are moved to ram this process uh, goes continuously okay so swap space is located on hard drives which are slower access time compared to physical memory physical memory is ram ram is very fast compared to swap space swap space can be dedicated uh, general generally how, how the swap space is organized means uh, that may be a, some partition swap partition uh, another it is called as swap partition or we can make a swap file or we can make it as a combination of a swap partition and a swap file okay we'll see what is swap uh, clearly in the next slides okay so swap, swap may be two types it may be a, a separate partition or it may be a file or it is a combination of both so in general in computer technology system point of view virtual memory is known as ram plus swap space ram is nothing but physical memory along with ram and swap space swap space and plus ram is known as virtual memory why it is called virtual memory means swap is not like ram it is some space on the hard drive but it is used utilized like ram but it is not like like exit ram so ram is generally known as physical space, physical memory along with that physical memory swap combinedly it is known as virtual memory so how much swap space is generally recommended of course this uh, this uh, table was taken from red hat website but uh, this is not the exact uh, exact way of taking ram that uh, ram is decided by our environment uh, sorry how much space we need to take how much uh, space swap space we need to recommend for a system is based on our environment based on the applications we are using okay based on the ram we are using okay based on that generally in uh, in world is that is a uh, uh, if you are having memory like uh, 512 MB, uh, 256 MB, uh, those systems, generally the RAM will be taken as double of the swap space. Of course, it is uh, less than 2 GB. Uh, we will consider the RAM as uh, two times of. Uh, uh, we will consider the swap space as two times the RAM. Suppose it is uh, less than 2, 2, 2 GB, then we will consider 4 GB swap space. If it is 1 GB, we will consider as double that uh, RAM is 2 GB. 2 GB swap space but uh, uh, nowadays the ram become so cheaper the cost of the ram become slowly drastically reducing before those days uh, it is very costly ram physical memory is very costly on those doors <coughs> hard hard disk is uh, cheaper compared to ram for the same specifications okay so in those days uh, uh, instead of using more ram they will go with uh, some RAM and space, swap space. But nowadays RAM got cheaper and we are using uh, high-end high -end RAM uh, servers and uh, systems. Even our, our laptop is equipped with 6 GB, 8 GB RAM. So that much spa uh, swap space is not needed right now. So for, for that, so if, 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 it is, uh, if the uh, system is having uh, lesser RAM, lesser than uh, 2 GB RAM, then we'll go with the double double the ram suppose if it is uh, in between 2 gb to 8 gb equal to amount of the ram suppose in between 8 gb to 64 gb at least we will use it is our choice the system admin choice 
uh, suppose if you if you are using uh, the, our server if you are using more if if it needs more more data more uh, it it will consume more amount of ram okay uh, then we need to go with uh, more swap that decides uh, okay but it is not a thumb rule it is not a hard uh, hard rule okay but it is a suggestion so based on okay uh, if you work on with that swap you will get uh, entire idea okay it is greater than 64 gb it is uh, at least uh, 4 gb in, in but uh, it is in, in nowadays it is going with like that it is recommended by red uh, red hat okay okay and and uh, if if you, your system is recommended for hibernation if hibernation is also required you know hibernation uh, okay hibernation is nothing but if you if you want to oh uh, yes suspend to disk this that is nothing but hibernation is nothing but suspend to disk okay that means uh, if you uh, uh, make that uh, your system is sleep then the data in the tram was moved to your hard disk in that case uh, more swap is recommended okay uh, of course the, for this also there is no thumb rule but we will consider some more swap compared to this uh, without hibernation system with without hibernation if you take two times here we will take three times if it is less than two b like that we will recommend the swap space okay there is no uh, uh, thumb rule okay uh, in previous days it was taken like uh, double the if it is uh, lesser ram that is 2 gb 4 gb 8 gb like that we will take the double the ram the swap is taken double the ram if it is uh, more than uh, 32 gb 64 like that we will take uh, half of the ram like that okay but based on the system environment based on the environment based on our environment uh, based on the requirement of ram we will go with uh, this okay this table okay in future there may be no need of uh, swap space also okay because uh, ram is every every time of course here i am showing just 64 gb in real time servers are uh, equipped with uh, some uh, 256 gb almost one terabyte also there may be available okay in that case uh, swap plus you no know, not that much important role okay but uh, it is better to create a swap uh, uh, some even like a 4gb like that okay uh, okay so swap space is compulsory to created at the time of installation installation at the time of installation swap is created already we have seen that there are uh, three moon points we need to take at the time of installation first one is uh, these are mandatory slash slash boot and swap already we have created a swap space but additional additional swap spaces can also be created and deleted at any point of time when it is required suppose if the load on the tram is uh, increasing drastically increasing uh, rapidly then we can increase the swap size also okay we will see how it will be increased okay uh, and uh, if that is uh, if the load is uh, removed we, we want to save the uh, space on the hard disk we can remove the swap space also okay that is in our hand whereas in in windows it will be done it will be done automatically windows will take care of that whereas in linux the system admin has to take care of it okay he, we need to do it manually okay sometimes we need to increase swap size so we create additional swap space which will be added to the existing swap space existing swap space means will you know that swap space is finished Huh? Okay, uh, I will tell you, I will tell you, uh, the system and uh, system admin, uh, generally, uh, if you want to check it, check the uh, swap space, there are some commands like pre iphone -em, or we can go with the tap, uh, top command, top top command, or uh, different, there are different, uh, I, I will show you, I will show you uh, for the practice session, okay. Uh, that that will be done manually or we can have some uh, automation tools also there okay every time we will get uh, alerts there are some monitoring tools like naggy voice all those things okay uh, they will uh, they will alert when the when the we will set some limit suppose uh, 70 percent of ram is full then it will alert 70 percent of uh, swap is full it will alert us okay so uh, then we, we will increase that swap space clear now how to how to uh to to maintain this swap space we'll use these commands 
so for your question this is the answer one of the answer to see the memory uses and swap size we use free hyphen m command or free hyphen g command if if you use m so the data will be the ram size and swap size data will be given in megabytes if it is in g it will give in gigabyte that means how much ram is used how much ram is kept free how <coughs> sorry how much uh, buffer is there how much cache is there everything will be given you, you, by this command we will come to know about uh, memory usage of memory size as well as swap size and we can go with the uh, uh, cat proc uh, meminfo uh, in that uh, swap we will go with that also okay and also you can do that uh, with this command also only if you want to see the swap uses you can use this command swap and space hyphen s by using the, this command also we can see swap here we can see only swap only swap swap uses if you use this command you can see ram memory as well as swap both okay next these are the commands uh, that are useful while uh, increasing or decreasing swap okay to format the partition with swap file system we use mk swap so any any partition if you want to format with a file system we use mkfs dot that file system name here swap is itself a file system so we use mk swap and partition name simple command mk swap and partition name command and if you want to activate a swap space that means at any time we can create or add a swap and we can off the swap or delete the swap so if you want to activate the swap we use a swap on and that partition name command then that partition will be activated as space uh, sorry swap space and we can deactivate the swap space also by using this command swap off that partition name we'll see one by one okay so if you want to activate uh, some sw swap space we will use swap on so then that that uh, partition will be added to the already existing swap so that will be cumulatively added if, suppose if if uh, old swap is uh, some 2 gb if you add one more 1 gb uh, partition as a swap then it will be 2 plus 3 3 gb swap will be there if you want to opt that use swap of command you will see in the practice session next to create a partition swap partition okay swap is created in two ways uh, already here i have given swap set can be created in two ways one one way is swap partition second way is by creating a swap file and make it as a swap file okay swap file or we, we can do that in combination of both we'll see one by one okay now first part is how to create a swap partition later we will see how to create a swap file okay so first the name itself it is uh, stating that it is a partition for that we need to create a partition how to create a partition is nothing but we can create a partition is uh, uh, by using f disk a normal partition we will create a normal par partition initially by using f disk in a particular hard disk and change the exec code to make it as swap partition okay for every uh, type of partition there is some exec code okay uh, suppose if it is a linux type of uh, partition then it is 83 if the file system type uh, sorry if the partition type is swap then the exec code for that one is 82 if it is uh, standard partition that is 83 if it is swap partition it is 82 if it is an some extended partition that is 5 if it is some lvm lvm partition then it is uh, 80 you will see what is lvm later okay after creating that uh, swap partition so uh, you will update the partition table this is al already you know just like a normal partition part x hyphen a command okay so here to give that x code you need to use a t you will see where the time of practice okay next after making this swap partition okay you don't make a normal partition you must make the partition as swap for that you need to change x code here compared to regular part normal partition one change is here is you need to change the exa code for that partition then it will become swap after that you need to update that using part x iphon a command okay after after making that swap partition partition as swap you must format that partition with swap file system okay here the file system name is swap itself 
so for that the command is mk swap partition m okay so mk swap the partition m suppose it is slash dev stb1 so slash dev stb1 okay next turn on newly created swap space and verify it after creating swap partition you must turn on turn on it in order to add that uh, space to already existing swap okay for that the command is swap and and that partition name then it will be added to the existing swap so totally you will get cumulative to swap space okay so this is uh, if you done like this it will be done temporarily after reboot again the swaps the swap will be this this newly created swap will be up you want if you want to make it permanent okay even after reboot if you want to mount that swap space again you need to create an entry in slash etc fs tab okay for that you know, you know how to do that uh, vim slash etc fs tab you need to give the entries like this partition name the partition which is used for swap you need to enter here and here is actually mount point the second entry second field in slash etc fs tab is mount point here for swap the mount point name is swap only and third entry is file system type so for swap the file system type is also swap you must remember these two both are same swap mount point is swap file system is also swap and here we will use a uh, defaults and uh, uh, dump and check sequence or 0 0 okay after that the swap will be created that's how we will create a swap partition we will see this with the lab session after that we will go with second how to create a swap using file system so, sorry a file okay let us check uh, what are the partitions i'm having fdisk hyphen l okay fdisk hyphen l and that we are having for star disk sda is having some partitions we're having stb also okay so there are no partitions i want to make a new partition in stb so for that the command is fdisk slash dev sdb okay then we'll open like this uh, so to check the what are the problems are there okay now i want to create a new partition okay so it is asking for which type of partition it is uh, i'm taking some primary okay so i'm taking the first partition okay next how much space i need uh, so just i'm taking some 1 gb 1 gb as swap for that i am giving plus 1 g you can give it in cylinders also but uh, you need to uh, uh, calculate that uh, number of cylinders for for 1 gb before doing this okay so simply i am using 1 plus 1 g okay okay sorry i made a mistake here it is not uh, 1 g here you need to give 1 g okay sorry again i will start with okay m i need to i want to create new partition okay mm. I'm taking primary partition i'm taking the first partition in that okay the first cylinder starts with one of course you can start anywhere but uh, it is better to start with last cylinder we don't know that last in how much uh, cylinder number of cylinders are uh, taken for one g so simply i'm giving one g like this so it the uh, it will take one g plus for that one now after doing that if it is a regular partition we'll we'll save and quit but here <coughs> i want to change the partition system id the exa code okay there's nothing but exa code okay so uh, for swap it is 82 of course if you not remember that uh, type of that partition if you want to check it use l there are a lot of exa codes here 0 to ff means almost 256 it is 256 uh, types of uh, exa code here if you look it it is Linux LVM, it is normal partition is 83 L like okay Linux and uh, swap partition it is 82. Okay, so here I want to make this partition as swap. So for that 
what you need to press is I can check with help look here T type of that you need to change the type T, press T so it is asking for hexacode okay hexacode is first we have we need to give IT2 just now we have verified that one here okay so I have given IT2 so change the type of partition 1 to 82 okay now it was done now after doing this you need to quit by saving so for that we need to use the command w okay now what to do this uh, we have created a partition for swap okay now we need to update that partition using partex hyphen a slash dev st b okay it was updated let us check whether it was there or not now check it this uh, if you use ft skype and it will give a total hard disk or two hard disk information about two hard disk this is first hard disk now it is second hard disk slash dev sdb in that first partition is slash dev stb1 and look here id type is 82 and it was it's the name of this one is linux swap okay before that look here if it is 83 it is a general linux standard partition okay look here at the time of installation i have created some swap this is at the time of installation i have done now he now i have added this this one this was swap partition this partition has added as swap we can verify by using this id okay now after creating this normal partition as swap next step is you need to format file system on this partition for that you need to use mk swap command and which partition we are applying this uh, file system slash stb1 okay mk swap slash dev st b1 now file system swap file system is applied now check whether it is uh, in that uh, okay look here i have used the command free hyphen m that means it will give the memory memory means ram and swap statistics in mbs okay so your memory is you know it is a uh, 2gb memory i am having 2gb ram at the time of installation i have created 4gb that's it this one is 4gb okay 4gb this one is 4gb okay uh, some part is used in ram uh, total ram is this one uh, used and some part is free but now this swap is not utilized of course the entire thing is free 4gb uh, swap is there that recently created this one 1 GB swap is created recently but that was not added to the existing swap for that you need to on that swap by using this command swap on and that partition name what is that partition name slash dev this thing okay so for that you need to give the entry like this now the swap is on check whether it is or not again use free hyphen m command check it now the swap size is one more gb is added of course these are given in mb so that is uh, showing like that just uh, give it in gb look it is uh, memory is sorry it is rounded off that's why it is showing like that actually it is 2 gb memory okay uh, here it is it is almost 2 gb but uh, it is rounded in gb so it is showing 1 gb like that don't worry about that here it is uh, 4 plus 1 gb 5 gb is there initially at the time of installation we have created 4 gb plus 1 gb is added now after adding we need to on that swap if if it is not on uh, that swap will not be added even though after creating swap you must on it okay you, meet, you must activate it if you don't activate the swap it doesn't add okay that's that's how we need to create swap and we need to activate or add the swap space to existing swap space now after reboot again 
this re, uh, this created swap will not be added to this one after reboot this, this will will last this thing okay uh, only four four uh, zb swap will be there so to make it permanent what we need to do is we need to give the entries in slash etc fs tab fs tab okay so you know that one it already previously created this one now you need to change it okay uh, first delete this one it was uh, already previously there insert mode we need to go with insert mode enter so the device first entry first field in a slash etf tab is device name or partition name slash dev slash stb1 our partition name is stb1 okay and here the type uh, mount point is swap only okay system itself defines it is the mount point is swap and the file system type is also swap and uh, we are going with the defaults options okay next uh, i'm giving this uh, i'm sorry this uh, check and dump, dump sequence as zero dump and check sequence as zero zero now save it escape shift colon w and q okay you go with the df hyphen h it is not showing yet. okay mount command okay now you will check the uh, what are the present on existing swaps by using swap on iphon yes okay there are two swaps here first this first this partition is created at the time of installation this is of size 4 gb okay second partition is stb1 this is now created and added to the exist one so totally this one is 1 gb swap so totally it is 4 plus 1 that's how we need to create a swap space okay swap space using partition swap partition creating a swap partition like that okay